Today we are roasting a whole leg of lamb right in our oven at home that will result in the most flavorful, tender and succulent meat topped over a delicious bed of flavorful rice cooked with whole spices. The Lamb Monday. Before we dive into the cooking process, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a recipe. And now let's get started with our Lamb Monday adventure. Let's start by preparing our marinade for the lamb. We're gonna take one whole head of garlic and about two inches of ginger that I'm gonna peel the skin off. Peel off your garlic and place your ginger and garlic into a mortar and pestle. We're going to pound these till they become a fine paste. A little bit of salt to help it along the way and keep pounding it, trying your best to keep it all in there till they reach a paste-like texture. Next, for our spices, grab a bowl and add 1 teaspoon of turmeric, 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander seed powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 teaspoon of garam masala, and about 1 teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. Now add in 3 tablespoons of salt. Our freshly prepared ginger and garlic paste and a quarter teaspoon of saffron stands. Pour in a quarter cup of oil of your choice. I'm using avocado oil here. Give this a whisk till all the spices are combined with the oil and a marinade is ready. Now, line a baking sheet with the bottom layer of aluminium foil. You're gonna need a pretty sturdy bottom cover for this. I have a huge hunk of meat that I'll be cooking and we don't want any tears below for the juices to run out. Next, add in two layers of parchment paper and it's now time to get to the star of our show, our lamp. I have this whole leg of lamb here that I found at my butcher and immediately knew what I wanted to make with it. This is an eight and a half pound of meat that can easily feed up a 12 people. I did have friends over the day I cooked this. The first thing we're going to do is trim some of this excess fat on top of the meat. Fat won't absorb your spices and seasonings as they cook, so I highly recommend taking your time and trimming the fat of the top. This is a huge chunk of meat and we want our seasonings to travel deep into the meat as this cooks. Gently using a very sharp knife, start trimming off the fat from the top. Now, as our meat has been trimmed, we're going to create incisions all along the surface of our meat by providing deep cuts vertically and then horizontally. Turn over your meat to the other side and repeat this process. This will further enable our seasonings to penetrate deep into the meat. The last thing we want is a delicious first bite of the top and a bland bite when we get to the center. Place your meat in your baking dish and it's now time to slather our marinade all over there. I'm using a basting brush for this, but feel free to get in there with your hands. Once we've generously coated one side of the meat, flip it over to the other side and repeat the same process. Lastly, pour any remaining marinade on top, trying your best to get between those incisions we made. Now to wrap it up, fold in your parchment paper, ensuring it tightly wraps the meat. Now 
Then grab the sides of the aluminium foil and roll it over the top of the meat, making sure we don't leave any open pockets for the steam to escape. I felt this needed another layer of foil that I placed vertically on top and covered it from the bottom to ensure maximum coverage. Now that we have our meat nicely wrapped up, this goes into a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 4 hours. It's been 3.5 hours since our meat is in the oven and it's about time to get started on that rice. We're cooking up a type of simple pilaf or pilau which is what it would be called in some parts of the world. We're gonna start by thinly slicing one yellow onion. Then in a deep bottom pan, heat up 2 tablespoons of ghee to which I'm gonna add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, about 10 peppercorns, a stick of cinnamon broken up, 3 cloves of cardamom, 6 cloves and a couple of dry bay leaves. Give this a toss in the ghee before adding the sliced onions. We're gonna cook these till the onions become translucent. And add 1 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, 2 green chilies and 1 whole dried lemon. Saute this for a couple of minutes and then add 3 cups of basmati rice that I washed and soaked for about 30 minutes. Give your rice a mix in the pan, constantly stirring while it gets acquainted with the whole spices and the ghee. We want to get our rice toasted just a little bit before we add in our water. After a couple of minutes in the pan, add in 5 cups of water, give it one stir and then cover with the lid to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, it's been 4 hours and it's now time to check in on our lamp. We're gonna unwrap the covers and you will find a small pond of the juices from the lamp below it. Grab a basting brush and coat the lamp with them. We want to reintroduce those flavorful juices and fat back into the meat. This now goes back into the oven uncovered for about 30 minutes. Next, let's prep our garnish. In a pan, heat up 2 tablespoons of ghee. Once your ghee has been warmed up, add your choice of nuts along with some raisins that we're going to lightly toast in the fat. I've used some slivered almonds and cashews, but if you want to do walnuts or pistachios, go for it. Toast these for just a minute or two, any longer and they will burn. Set these aside and our rice is now done. Pick out that wonderful and steamy rice. All the liquid has been absorbed and our rice is cooked to perfection. Now one of the things I've seen a lot on YouTube videos and have been wanting to do ever since is to do a pan flip. Well here is my first attempt and I swear it's my first both on and off camera. So I'm going to say a quick little prayer and here we go. And there. Quick little tap to get all of the rice out. Perfection. A lamb is now out of the oven and looks gobsmackingly delicious. I'm gonna give it one final baste of those meat juices and fats and it's ready for plating. Place your whole piece of meat directly on top of the rice. This looks absolutely stunning. Lest not we forget, let's add our nuts and raisins. Sprinkle them all over the top of the meat and the rice. Finally, gonna garnish this with some leaves of fresh coriander or cilantro. And it's now time to dive in. This ended up being one of the most amazing things I have cooked. Meat was cooked to perfection and was pull apart tender. Each and every bite of the meat paired with that delicious rice with a piece of almond and raisin in each morsel was one of the best home cooked meals I've ever had. This is something I would save up for special occasions when cooking for your next dinner party or a family gathering. 
We hope you enjoyed this recipe and do give it a try. If you did like this video, consider subscribing to our channel for more recipes and do smash that like button and let us know your thoughts in the comments. For now, thank you and we hope to see you next week.